everyone and uh, welcome to northeastworms.com uh, so we are in my you know workshop again in my little showroom because i want to i want to show you a new, a new product i want to show you something that uh, i'm using in my uh, worms uh, beans and to feed my worms and to make my uh, beans and my casting richer and uh, i want to show you actually what i use uh, i already showed you in a, in, in a previous video if you saw and this is uh, uh, spent mushroom substrate or sms and is this one Okay, let me show you a little better if I can. Okay, so this is, uh, um, guys, amazing product, of course. So this is uh, the spent mushroom uh, substrate. So it's like uh, all the mix uh, of wood, hay, or different material that uh, the, the mushrooms farm, they use actually to inject the mycelium of the mushroom to grow the mushroom in a sealed soil bag. So today we will talk about this uh, amazing product. So guys, uh, uh, this product uh, have a lot, a lot of, of amazing and benef beneficial uh, uh, characteristic for both our soil and our worms. Uh, the, let's talk about the soil two seconds, okay? So when we, we spread this uh, uh, substrate on our soil, what happened, all the mycelium that is still very alive and present in this substrate, it will uh, uh, grow and uh, uh, and thrive in your soil and it will spread, you know, you know, if you know, you, you ever saw a mycelium, it's like a little uh, wool, uh, white wool that is spread all over and grow and this will be part integrated over the web soil so it will uh, uh, live in symbiosis so this mycelium uh, grow and live in symbiosis with your plants because they are attached to the roots of your plants we give a structure to the soil if you have a clay soil this is one of the best things you can use for your soil the structure retain moisture and uh, uh, will go in symbiosis with the old bacteria um, when we add our warm casting we add the bacteria and so we will our soil will result uh, to be a very very rich in bacteria and in fungi and we'll have a beautiful amazing structure and our plant will grow amazing so if you can imagine I don't know if you ever saw one of these hydroponic grow store they sell uh, like the mycelium little things like that for I don't know 20 25 30 bucks when with one little piece of this block you have uh, maybe 10 different kind of mycelium and uh, uh, they will grow and they're very active and very alive inside these blocks so now uh, what I want to show you I want to show you how easy it is to break down you know because it's already pre-composted and used for both feed your worms and for your soil uh, let me take the camera closer being this uh, 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 a spent substrate means this, that it's already pre-composted. So uh, we can use it directly on both our, our soil, our braised bed, our plants, our pot, whatever we are growing our plants, or bought uh, uh, immediately in our warm bean as food. The bean, uh, I, I, I promise you, the, the worms, they will love this and they will go through this substrate uh, very, very, very fast, uh, uh, adding uh, uh, amazing fungi and mycelium and structure to your final product that is the worm casting. Doesn't matter if you are selling or if you are using for yourself, uh, I think that uh, using uh, uh, SMS uh, spent mushroom substrate is something that you really have to do for your to have a, a, the best product the best worm casting ever and uh, also it's food so the worms will love it and they you know eat and they will be very very happy so I show you how easily it is to break down uh, this substrate and use immediately look you see Oh, no, you don't need to do nothing. It's nothing crazy. Of course, I use a a, shre a, a, a mechanical shredder because I I I, I shred a, a tons of this. So for me, doing it by hand is 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 a little time consuming and boring <laughs> and frustrating. But guys, uh, you know, if you don't have a, a, like me a commercial structure and when you want to use this in all your beans, um, you can do just by hand. But it's easy peasy, very very easy. So, 
So the, this uh, uh, all that you see here is uh, around the nine pounds. I actually I, I went just uh, high balling. I did not uh, uh, waited, and um, so I show you how much is uh, uh, ten pounds. Let me shred this by hand, uh, and uh, and uh, I will show you. Let's come back to this uh, amazing product. I explained to you how amazing it is for your soil, but I didn't explain to you in details how amazing it is uh, for your casting. When we add substrate, uh, spent mushroom substrate or SMS to our uh, warm bedding as food, we can mix with the food, we can put it by itself, we can mix in the bedding that we prepare. Uh, this uh, amazing product will spread a lot of mycelium all around the casting. We make the worms happy and we'll start to work with all the macro uh, or organism, all the bacteria, all the fungi that naturally, of course, we have on our uh, bedding, making a very, 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 very rich uh, casting and the final product for us. But I want to show you, okay? I don't want you, I don't want you believe me. I want to show you. I just uh, I started uh, the 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 to harvesting the big 50 feet uh, um, bean uh, like three four days ago, and uh, I start uh, from one side to put all the worms in a new brand new bedding with a ton of uh, this, and I show you in just three days how the mycelium spread all over the bedding. So follow me. Okay, so this is my big beast, you know, 50. Uh, uh, feet big. It's the the this bean is big, 50 feet by 4 feet and around 20, 22 inch deep. So I started to harvest everything. I took out like the dripping line that I used to um, um, water down, and I start. I take out all the cover because I wanna that it dry off uh, a little bit. So this is absolutely ready to be harvested and you see this is all black gold casting uh, there are a lot of uh, unprocessed stuff so there are a lot of worms some uh, i think that uh, here on this side the worms uh, already moved and went uh, um, very deep uh, and so this is so fertile that every single seed it's here it will sprout so look here how beautiful is this so and i am uh, uh, collecting uh, you know the, the 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 top side uh, wait a little bit that it will dry this is ready to harvest that will harvest today wait to dr that dry a little bit so it's uh, easily to pass through the harvester and we go to and i start over all this side that it's actually around uh, 14 15 uh, feet long so i start uh, uh, this side around uh, maybe uh, three four days ago two days tuesday it was thursday last thursday so there are all new bedding all the worms were here and all the stuff they were un unprocessed so look here guys look all the mycelium that is spread in only three days in the worm bin here and the worms on the bottom they are very very happy and fat yeah this is all uh, pure red rigors bean so look uh, if we go down there are more mycelium spread down yeah Look here, all on the side. See, this is all my cilium. and that's that's astonishing. That's really something that uh, 
every time I see these things, of course it's not the first time, but every time I see these things, uh, for me is, a, is something that really, really astonishes me on how beautiful is the microbiology in our worm bean if we use the right thing. So let me show this bad in new look. There are tons of red wiggers, tons. Wherever we go, there are tons of red wiggers. So I'm very happy on how my beans are going. And um, oh, here, see, we see. Look here. Oh, no, I didn't ever actually open this side since I started this bin. So I really don't know what it is on the bottom. Let's see together. Look, look here. Look. Yeah, this is all amazing, beautiful mycelium. And the worms, they feast on the bottom. See? Yeah. So that's guys happen when you look at the worms. That This guy happens when you, you use uh, the s s mushroom substrate. That what happened. Look here. Yeah, those are amazing and beautiful red wigglers. It's a little juvenile. I don't know if I put a focus. Okay. So let's go back to the shop. Guys, this is the end of the video. I brought actually a blog article regarding the SMS uh, spent mushroom substrate on my website. I will link the blog article down and I will link actually the, the, the where you can buy this uh, this uh, mushroom substrate again I'm offering 10 pound bag they are like this okay and of always free shipping on uh, on uh, northeast worms and if you have any question please uh, uh, link download uh, on, the, on the on the comment uh, let me know what do you think about or let me know if you have a, any kind of question and um, I am always happy to answer all of you and uh, please subscribe if you already have not uh, and uh, see you next time thank you